man who played a key role in the debate around juveniles being sentenced to life without parole won his freedom today. A Louisiana parole board voted to grant Henry Montgomery parole. Back in 1963, he was sentenced to life in prison at just 17 years old. And in the 57 years he's been behind bars, much has changed. In 2012, Miller v. Alabama went to the Supreme Court where the justices ruled mandatory sentencing of life without parole for juvenile offenders was cruel and unusual punishment. In 2016, Montgomery's case went to the Supreme Court to address the question of whether Miller v. Alabama could be applied retroactively to juvenile life sentences. The justices ruled it could. Since that ruling, roughly 800 people have been freed according to the Campaign for the Fair Sentencing of Youth. Montgomery's case played a big role in winning freedom for those 800 sentenced when they were juveniles, and today he was able to taste freedom himself. Newsy National correspondent Tammy Eswick has his story. After 57 years in prison. You want to come back with me? No. <laughs> no. This is Henry Montgomery's first look at freedom. You're going to do great. <laughs> All right. You're going to do great. He's been locked up in the Louisiana State Penitentiary since he was 17 years old. Now a hard of hearing 77-year-old man, he's looking forward to a fresh start. It's wonderful. <laughs> Too wonderful. Everything. Oh, it made everything change. That fresh start, however, comes at a price. In November of 1963, a judge convicted Montgomery of murder. He killed Deputy Charles Hurt. Hurt's family asked the board to once again deny his request to get out. I don't think that he should be left into society. First of all, my father was a deputy. I think it shows great disrespect. I'm just asking you please not to let him out. To understand why advocates push for the Louisiana Parole Board to set a convicted murderer free, it helps to understand several Supreme Court cases. When I first started this business 35, 40 years ago, no lifers ever came home. 220 long-termers are out, 80 juvenile lifers are out. So there are any number of human beings that are having a second chance because of this man right here. In 2012, when the Supreme Court heard Miller versus Alabama, justices ruled that juveniles couldn't be given life without parole because it amounted to cruel and unusual punishment. Fast forward to 2016. Montgomery's case went to the Supreme Court. This time, justices agreed that the previous case of Miller versus Alabama could be applied retroactively, meaning people sentenced before that 2012 date could now ask for parole. Former juvenile lifer and co-founder of the Louisiana Parole Project, Andrew Hundley, says since that ruling, roughly 800 people have been freed. Meanwhile, Montgomery remained behind bars. I'm going to have to live with this all my life, the rest of my life. This is an awful case. There's no question about it. When, when he went to prison, John F. Kennedy was still alive. When he went to prison, Martin Luther King had not gone on the mall and made the I Have a Dream speech. Henry has been here throughout tremendous advances in history. So he's... He's got a lot of catching up to do. Montgomery isn't free to roam. He has several parole conditions to meet, including a no-contact order with that deputy's family. Tammy Eswick, Louisiana State Penitentiary, Newsy.